Get ready as Excite Wrestling presents Fight Club at the American Legion Post 80 on 76 Main Street in Binghamton, New York. Featuring unprofessional Jimmy Jacobs versus Joe Gacy. Also, Joey Ryan versus Dick Justice. And for the Excite Championship, Sean Carr will be facing Austin Aries. Get your tickets today at excitewrestling.com slash shop or catch it live on twitch.tv slash excite wrestling. This podcast is scheduled for one fall and I'm still not reading any of this other crap you wrote. So just click your buttons and start the show. Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome oh, 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 to the Merry gimmick Christmas. table. And as you can hear, that is my co-host. He is the Red Rider BB gun to my Ralphie. He is bats. How I'll shoot it? your eye out, man. Okay, let's. I don't like this. I don't. I don't like you saying you're gonna shoot my eye out. It was just a metaphor. Yeah. Because I'm always like zinging you. Sure. Great. Uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, today on the show we have Dick Justice. Yeah. And it's gonna be a fun time he's here to talk about december 30th and this freedom coming saturday he is here to talk about freedom but he's here also to talk about this upcoming saturday december 30th he's going to be taking on joey ryan in binghamton new york at excite wrestling as they present fight club so make sure you check that out we're going to talk about that and we'll have more information about how you can see that on the show you can also Rewind and catch it at the beginning of the show. Spoiler alert, you can catch it on Twitch. Ooh. I want to make sure we let you know, today's episode, we're going to give you another chance to enter to win an autographed 8x10 photograph of Cody Rhodes. So make sure you listen for the keyword. And after the show, go to gimmicktablepod.com, enter the keyword, and look on the website as well to see all the other ways that you can enter to win. Hey. Hey, what? Snowball fight. What is, what is in your drink, man? Bourbon County. Wow. Aged five years. This one wasn't, but... You, you really need that. And guys, real quick, before we get to our guest today, I want to tell you one last time about the Front Row Package Deal for the Making Towns Classic. You can get tickets right now for $45 for both shows taking place on May 13th. Go to their Facebook page by searching the Making Towns Classic or reach out to them at Twitter at the MT Classic to find out how to purchase these. Remember, they're only available at this price through January 2nd. They are limited, so make sure you take advantage of this awesome offer as soon as possible. It's time to welcome to the show. He's the man, along with Joey Ryan and Macaulay Culkin, a.k.a. Kevin McAllister. Saved Christmas from Hornswoggle not too long ago, and he's our guest here today. Please welcome to the gimmick table. He is... Dick Justice, how goes it today? I'm good, gentlemen. How are you? How are you? We are doing great today. And good to hear. Good, good. Uh, I heard. I heard you had quite a day at uh, at work today. I had a very shitty day at work. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, without getting into literally too- and literally and figuratively. Yes, I did. Um, we could have used a detective like yourself there on the scene to help us figure out that case. Uh, I probably would have used a power washer. <laughs> I don't know how well that would have worked on the carpet. And at that point, you might as well just get a new carpet. Now, you will be traveling to Binghamton for Excite Wrestling Fight Club. Yes, I will. And you're going to be taking on Joey Ryan. And what might be the greatest match that Excite has ever booked. And, and why do you believe that it's going to be the greatest match ever booked? Uh, well, Joey Ryan is a phenomenal professional wrestler, an incredible athlete. And uh, a top gentleman, a stand-up guy, uh, I myself am, you know, halfway decent. I'm okay. Um, I have a lot of good one-off puns. Uh, but I do believe that the chemistry we have is very, very good. We have we have gone against each other one time before in Texas for Russell Circus. And that was uh, a meeting that was a long time coming. Now, how do you plan to combat the dick flip because everybody tries to escape it but it seems that no one can uh, i've been doing a lot of uh bicep and tricep work so that the, the grip of his dick can be combated by the strength of my arm so if i could just turn torque a little more maybe i can 
be held. Uh, I like to keep a low center of gravity, so I keep doing a lot of a lot of heavy squats, and deadlifts, a lot of uh, front squats, trying to keep myself uh, parallel with the ground, so I cannot be moved uh, very strong. Trying to keep my feet firmly planted. Uh, so I think that I've been doing a lot of strength training. The first time him and I met, maybe my uh, my workouts were not quite uh, at a level where I could combat such a powerful and unavoidable move. But I believe I can be the first man to ever withstand a match with Joey Ryan to not receive the dick kick. No, I would I would have to agree with that because you seem to have your own telekinetic powers of sorts. Oh yeah, well the worst case scenario I'm just gonna blow it off, so <laughs> exactly. is that possible though? That's the question that I think is on everybody's mind is do you have the ability to blow it off? Well, there's only one way to find out and that's uh heading to Binghamton. I've been you know, when I first d- developed such a unique ability uh with use of telekinesis and uh the uh, uh, psyche of the mind of being one with the universe and becoming one. It's basically like uh, how Spider-Man got his ability to shoot the webs from his hands. Uh, so I was I was using the 44 Madam in the shooting range, and there was a power outage in the building. And I was like, all right, guys, don't worry about it. I'm just going to go down, check the circuit breaker, and everything's going to be okay. And I did not leave my gun. I was bring my gun with me. It's always licensed, so I brought it with me just in case. You never know when you have to combat, you know, evil forces, ninjas, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so I bring the gun downstairs with me, and I go to flip the circuit breaker, right? And I flip them all to one side, and this electrical shock just, just enters my body, and it was like it was like entering a different universe, man. I was on I was on a different level right there, floating above myself for a minute, and I looked down, and my, my hands had become one with the 44 Magnum. And uh, when I dropped back down into my body, I had released the pistol from my hand. And uh, when I went to go, you know, pick it back up, it just did, it didn't feel right. So I was like, all right, I got to go home, take a nap, maybe take a, a hot and cold shower at the same time. So I had gone home, you know, I was... I was leaving my I was leaving my car and I was getting the mail and you know my neighbor popped up and he was like hey Dick baby how you doing man I was like hey man I gave him the second guns and damn near blew his head clear off his body oh, and I was man. like I was like what is this what is this ability it's basically like uh, equivalent to uh, as I said Spider Man also it's Thor's hammer uh, because you know you can't really. You, you you can take the ability to weigh, but you can't you can't take the the power because it comes from within. And that actually answers another question I had: is what caliber was that? So this is a, a forty four magnum with a, a the punch of Thor's hammer. Yes. Also, it's got a it had the silencer on it because I was trying to you know just kids had just recon work. I was going to try it out with the silencer because you always got to it changes the the view a little bit when you're staring it down. So when you put the silencer on it, you got to acclimate yourself to the view and everything. So that's why, you know, sometimes don't really make a sound. Absolutely. Makes sense. You know, my body is basically made up of red, white, and blue with gunpowder. So Now, your story has translated into a feature film. We, we got the opportunity to see that on YouTube. When are we going to get to see part two of that? Well, we tried to film part two, and we spent a long time doing it. And uh, when they were putting the video together, it turns out the sound wasn't very good. So they scrapped the entire video. So honestly, I have no idea when part two will come out. I, I'm holding on to an idea for part two for potentially something a little bigger. But uh, until then, uh, it's, it's basically just in its developmental stage at this point. Definitely look forward to seeing how that progresses, though. I would love to. I'd love nothing more to to be able to shoot a part two with a prequel, and you know, put myself in different situations throughout time. Yeah, I'd love to see an origin story because that that's a great one you have. It's, it's a story I've actually never told before. This uh, the origin story. Uh, I've always I've, I've always wanted the opportunity to express my story, but uh, I've never quite had the opportunity. So yeah, that uh, being an officer of law, 
it runs in with the family. My father was a police officer, so I just I wanted to make my daddy proud. Uh, he was the finest, finest police officer in Millsap, Texas. And then when we moved up north to be with the rest of the family, uh, I decided I was going to be a police officer myself. But without spoiling too many of the details, here I am. I mean, it's Rocky almost like a hurricane. <laughs> it's, it's almost as if you didn't choose the law; the law chose you. Born into it, man. Now, how much of that movie is based on actual events, and how much has been dramatized? Uh, the event itself was was obviously dramatized. Uh, I usually only used the the gun for severe situations, you know, bad guys, matches. Uh, I can't reach the light. I don't feel like getting up, so I'll shoot out a ball or something. <laughs> you know, real important stuff. So, so what about the, the, the Eagle Punch? The Eagle Punch is, it comes very once in a blue moon. If, if you've seen the newest Thor, I just keep going back to Thor because we both have long hair <laughs> and f- physically uh, sculpted bodies on granite from no. Mount Olympus. That's perfect because uh, Matt has a huge crush on Thor. I mean, I mean, how could you not? <laughs> Thank you. I'm next, Thank I'm you. Next, maybe uh, you might have listeners that haven't seen the movie, so I won't spoil anything. But the point is, it, you gotta you gotta dig deep for the Eagle Punch. Uh, it rarely ever comes out because I mean, if I hit you in the face, your head explodes. Right. As you can see in the video, I really prefer not to do that because you know, nine times out of ten, you know wrestling the job we're just trying to get the w uh, i don't really need to to murder nobody i don't need to but you know sometimes you know i don't know why everybody every time i i pull out these finger guns i don't know why everybody decides they want to try to take the gun away from me like obviously it's going to misfire you don't know how to use it but stop trying to take it from me they can't yeah they can't, how it works. they can't harness the power no, they can't on us. All they're going to do is make go off because I'm going to get upset right. or scared or nervous or startled or you know, tired. Any, you know, any of those emotions is just going to go off. Just like the gun. Not good emotions for gunplay. Right. You just got to keep a level head and think happy thoughts. It's generally <laughs> what I think. The happiest of thoughts. Now, has there ever been a time where you felt the need to murder in the ring? <laughs> um... I mean, uh, Ben Hameen pretty much had it coming, but that was that was before the uh, the gift, as I call it. Uh, really, honestly, that's about it. Just now, uh, while we were watching the video earlier again, Matt uh, was pointing out how many pairs of sunglasses can you keep in your your pack there? Oh, I think I've gotten up to eleven, maybe twelve. <laughs> Really? Well, because we had a theory that it was actually just an infinite amount of sunglasses, and they just kind of, one came out, you put them on, another pair was created. I always have to have at least one in there in case one of them breaks. Well, or, yeah. you know, like there's my action, there's my action sunglasses, and then there's my leisure <laughs> sunglasses. Uh, you know, I have driving sunglasses, uh, sleeping sunglasses, you know, just the <laughs> usual stuff, basically. That's a lot of, that's a an expensive budget for just sunglasses. Yeah, that's, I gotta buy them in bulk. But there's some pretty sweet sunglasses. Oh, incredible sunglasses! They keep the UV rays out of my eyes. Uh, they As they keep, should. Uh, they keep me focused while I'm driving. Also, America and freedom, and you know it covers all the bases of sunglasses. It really does. UV rays, democracy, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's some sunglasses etiquette for everybody out there. I've been considering trying to to put them at the the merchandise table, but man, then what happens if I lose one? And I've already, like, let's say I say I bring six of them with me, and I sell five, and I lose one. That's like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep the rays out of my eyes on the way home from shows at night. Like, it's you know, <laughs> at night there's there's no sun at night. I mean, you, <laughs> there's the only never one said. way to completely fully protect yourself. From the UV rays of the sun, and that's to wear sunglasses at all times. I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> I'm and I'm inside. I only have a lamp on. I mean, the the sun never sets on a badass. That's exactly. Okay, I can't argue with that point. Now, do you have any words for your opponent? 
Joey is a friend, but Joey is also a uh, competition. And the only way, he's very, very all over the place. You know, a lot of people who may not even watch wrestling know of Joey Ryan. So for me to be able to defeat the man with the magical penis, that would be a, a big step for me to, you know, maybe I could get, maybe I could get some hot top t-shirts, you know, maybe I could, uh, maybe I could go to Japan. Maybe I could, you know, the sky's the limit. I just got to get past the dick flip, which is, you know, if you can conquer that, you can conquer anything. The dick flip in the world. <laughs> yeah, dick flip, that's not, that's the, uh, high school dick flip the world. That's all that those are the three <laughs> major things I've had to accomplish in my life. The big milestones. I, I like I like Joey. I like him a lot, but uh, you know, it's called Fight Club for a reason. These hands these these hands is gonna be taped. One of these hands is gonna be, you know, ready to go if if needed. Now I, I actually and everybody else should do this too. Check out your Twitter right now because you got a couple of videos on there from a Christmas themed fight. With Joey oh, Ryan and yeah, Macaulay uh, that was, Culkin. That was something special. So me and Joey and Candace were all on the same team, and we were facing Swaggle because he's evil, and uh, T.P. Ray, which is uh, a tag team out that area. Uh, very gifted individuals, but nonetheless, they were trying to end Christmas. They were trying to steal Christmas. What? There's a pack of Grinches. Yeah. Terrible Grinches. And who better than to save Christmas than... Father Christmas himself, Kevin McAllister, a.k.a. Macaulay Culkin, a.k.a. The Good Son. Yeah. So, you know, once he saw that Christmas could be at an end, he sprang into action like only he can. Yeah, you guys you guys made quite the team. Is that something we could see down but, the road more of? You know, uh, I, uh, I know you can buy the, the DVD of the entire show. The show was incredible. It was my first time on the West Coast. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, you could buy the DVD on High Spots. And uh, I think it's uh, it might be on the on-demand service. Not 100% sure on it. Uh, but definitely go out, get yourself the DVD, buy all the rest of the DVDs. Buy all the rest of the DVDs that there are. And when you have duplicates, um, just give them to me. <laughs> I and like it, to collect stuff. And it is Christmas. So. Is it holiday themed? You guys got gift cards right now? Use them up. Yeah, use them all. Use all the <laughs> gift cards. Yeah, Best Buy, Amazon. The high spot Chipotle, any of those, you send them on over. Especially the Chipotle, man, I love Chipotle. <laughs> My goodness, don't spend them and send them the stuff. Oh, how Just do you send them the gift card? Speaking of Chipotle, how do you feel about their case, though? Uh, it'll. No, I don't. I don't bother with it. No, I hear. It's I okay. mean, you're you're an avid okay. Chipotle user, so you you know. It's it's not rather, up to par. I'd rather put the guac on there. I like oh, guac. They're, Guac's they're, good. Their guac is so good, too. Now you got to get those healthy fats in you, which I didn't know there was healthy fats. <laughs> so I'm just going to pretend that uh, the stuff around my belly is is like guac. It's just healthy fats. <laughs> it's just, it's just, you just know with guac. And it will, will have no impact on my heart or arteries in the future. None. Well, it's that Thor-like body of yours. Right. right. Carved out of granite. <laughs> Granite versus the indestructible dong. I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be great. And if you're not from Binghamton, people, remember you can see it live on Twitch. And I, I think that you can. I think the two of you, though, together might make Twitch explode. Break the internet. I mean, if, if anything is going to make the internet explode, it's a man named Dick versus the strongest Dick. In Dick versus Dick, in two dicks collide, rival nations. It's like Rocky IV. It's a lot like Rocky IV. It's a big dick fight. So does that, demolition man. Does that make his dick Ivan Drago? Yeah. <laughs> the the big phallic Russian. <laughs> <laughs> it's no follow up for that, Matt? I got nothing. <laughs> now how can our listeners dick get a hold of you? Uh, okay, Terrible you segment. can follow me on Terrible Twitter. Segment. It is at SuperCopJustice. That is uh, I'm trying to be better at social media because I just kind of throw my phone to the side and beat up bad guys. Sometimes I got to post stuff. You can get a hold of me on Instagram. I like to post uh, things from the gym in there. Also, uh, recent pictures, old pictures. Uh, I like pictures of my dog. Uh, that is also at Supercop Justice. Uh, the Snapchat is also Supercop Justice. Basically, on the, any, any platform, if you type in Supercop Justice, it's going to be me. That's also an insane song. <laughs> it's going to be me. 
Uh, and then also, if uh, if <laughs> if I if I'm in your town and I only have a limited run of t-shirts right now, but if you see a t-shirt on my pro wrestling t-store, uh, a lot of times I don't get to print those. Uh, you should probably buy it on the pro wrestling t-store, which is www.prowrestlingtees.com backslash Dick Justice for all of your Dick Justice needs and apparel. All right, people, make sure you take advantage of that. And we are also running a contest for a 8x10 photograph of Cody Rhodes. And yes. before we let you go, Mr. Justice, can you give us the keyword for this week's episode? All right, y'all. Uh, in order to get this 8x10, the keyword, freedom. There it is. Freedom. Freedom. So freedom pe- don't come free. But you can win this Cody Rhodes 8x10 just by listening. How about that? Yeah. As close to free as you're going to get. You're absolutely right. Right. Yeah, it's free to them. There it is. Thank you once again for joining us today. We appreciate it so much for you taking time out of your busy day, and we can't wait to see you at Excite Wrestling when it presents Fight Club, which will be live on Twitch. Just looking forward to this one. Come up, say hi to me, fellas. I'll come say hello. We'll slap hands, shake hands, sing songs of Harry Men, and uh, do whatever the devs you do in Binghamton. I don't know what else. There's a Sonic. There's, <laughs> there is a Sonic, but there's some better restaurants than the Sonic. Okay, well, well, there's only one way we're going to find out what those are, and that's to go to all of them at the same time. <laughs> all right, sounds like we have quite the investigation to take care of after your match. Yes, we do. I'll bring a magnifying glass, a real big one. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir, and we hope you have a Merry Christmas. Uh, you as well, boy. Thank you so much. See you, man. Have a good one. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you once again for listening. Thank you to Dick Justice for this awesome Christmas special edition of The Gimmick Table. We had a lot of fun. I don't know what else to say, Bats. We were we were caught off guard on this one. Yeah, great time. Didn't didn't know we were going to have a full gimmick, but that was definitely a fun episode, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And for Excite Wrestling presenting Fight Club, it's Saturday, December 30th. It's taking place at 7 p.m. You can catch it live at the American Legion Post 80 on Main Street in Binghamton, New York. But if you're not in the area, you can also catch it on twitch.tv slash Excite Wrestling. And you're not just going to get what could possibly be the greatest match in Excite Wrestling history, Dick Justice versus Joey Ryan, Dick versus Dong. We also got Jimmy Jacobs taking on Joe Gacy, and we're going to see the Excite Championship defended when Sean Carr takes on Austin Aries. So guys, you're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a great time. And the Twitch stream is super high quality. So definitely check that out if you can't make it to the show. Yeah, so you got you got options. And if you can't make it to the show, general admission is only $15. And for the level of talent you're getting on this show, you cannot beat that price. So now... We're, we normally do plugs, but we're gonna. It's Christmas, so we're just gonna kind of wrap things up here. Move on. Wish you all a Merry Christmas. Have a good New Year. We'll catch you actually on the first of the year with our first episode. Thank you for listening and have a good night. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa what do you think you're doing? That does not wrap it up for the gimmick table oh, yet. I'm sorry. We gotta do well, the unhinged, man. There, the interview's over, dude. Let's just let's go, man. No, no, we got it unhinged for you and me. What? Yeah, I mean, to celebrate the end of the year. It's the end of the year, okay. We've had 25 episodes airing on the 25th day of December, which is also Christmas. It's just, it's a Christmas miracle. Congratulations, you can count. It's a Christmas miracle. I don't think it's a miracle, I think it's called timing. Miracle on Gimmick Table Street. Okay. All right, so I figure we should go through our list of esteemed guests. And give them some Christmas character name. You now, know, is this from a specific movie? Like, did you? No, we'll just go you... through all the Chris, all okay, the possible I, Christmas I, characters. I feel like you would have come up with something where, like, we picked one movie, like Rudolph, and like we're really trying to come up with them. Yeah, no, what character. a fucking stupid idea that would be. Oh, with twenty-five people over. That would be like some idea you would come up with, but I'm a no. seasoned veteran <laughs> at the Unhinged, so. So we'll just go down the list in order of when we had the guests, no special treatment. Oh, did you think of that too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm full of great ideas for this Christmas. Yeah. I'm, I'm your Christmas miracle. <laughs> How long can I get a return on that? Uh, like, is there a... No, there's no return for, policy. No return policy? All, All right. sales are final? Yeah. Can't put me on my way. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our first... First guest, which I was not a part of, is uh, Mr. Seymour Snot. Seymour Snot. And who would Seymour Snot be? Well, who do you think he would be, Matt? Uh, 
I don't know, like a Buddy the Elf. Yeah, have you ever even seen that movie? No, no. <laughs> but actually, I I would agree. Buddy well, yeah, the Elf, you know, is he's he's a good, nice guy. From what I know, from, yeah, good guy. But from what I know from, I can't even think of his name right now. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Yeah, he's pretty fucking nerdy, dude. He's Seymour pretty nerdy. Snow. Yeah, he's, no, it's perfect. He's the geek with the physique, he's, the world's strongest man. He'd be like the nerdiest elf of elves. Yeah, perfect. All right, all right, Mister Tectonic. Tectonic. Mm. Yukon Cornelius. You've been waiting to say this, haven't you? Been thinking about that since you came up with this yeah, game all by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Yourself. That's the only reason on I the came fly, up with the game. You just wanted to be able to call Tech Yukon Cornelius. I just wanted to yell Yukon Cornelius, but he definitely fits. Like, I mean, even like the whole. You f- have a strange fetish for both Tech and Yukon Cornelius. Can we move I on, don't know. please? All right. Um, Victor Andrews. Victor Andrews. I, I see him as like a Howard Langston, a little Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. Jingle all the way. Mister Everything. But we got a we got a Myron for him. But I, I, I think I think later. we got a Myron for him Maybe. too. I got a couple ideas from somebody that could be down the road. All right, uh, George, George Gatton, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown Christmas. Yeah, Charlie Brown Christmas. All right. You are All right. you are the star of the Charlie Brown Christmas, George. And actually, if George had to come back for that, it'd be like if anyone's Charlie Brown and it's you, Bats. So, <laughs> why would you be Charlie Brown, Bats? Don't worry about it. No, let's let's pause the unhinge here and find out why you're Charlie Brown. I don't know, man. I just said it, so let's move on. No, you can't just say it. All right, so Benjamin Banks. Whatever. Benjamin Banks, I mean, if Tech is going to be you, Con Cornelius, to fulfill that fa- fantasy of yours, I know you also have a fantasy for the Bumble. It's not a fantasy. It's I mean, I guess fantasy. in my fantasy world, this is so what we'll make, these people would be. So we'll make Benjamin Banks the, the Bumble. Bumble. All right, and let's let's move on. We got a tag team here, and uh, some oh, villains Bad of the show. Oh, noise the, uh, how about the villains from Home Alone? All right, a little Marv Merchant, Harry Lime. Now, who is yeah. who? Well, uh, Harry would probably be mad. Would be Mad Max, oh, yeah. def- height wise. Yeah, yeah, the, sh- the shorter. Yeah, he's probably more of the schemer of the crew. Yeah, because you know he likes to use his head, and you know I feel like right. Joe Pesci was using his head. Yeah, Joe Pesci gets his head lit on fire. And then Rock Ooh. Rock would be like the, the muscle of the crew there. The bigger the bigger dude, you know, who likes to plug up drains and flood houses. But hey, I mean that's cool. Yeah, that's great. All right, then we have um uh, Carrie. Carrie Carry off of Oh, this is easy. Easy? What yeah. is it? Krampus. Krampus. Is that because yeah. he gives you nightmares? Yeah, scary dude. Yeah. Scary man. Very nice. He's a, <laughs> I don't think Krampus really works. Like, <laughs> you know, this is that whole like, don't tomorrow. judge a book by its cover. Cause yeah, probably one of our nicest guests, but for appearance wise, yeah, aesthetic purposes, totally Krampus. Krampus. Uh, Matthias. Matthias Thrasher. We're going retro here with a little bit of Gizmo. Yeah, I mean, Gremlins is definitely a Christmas movie. Yeah. yeah. All right, then we got a uh, Mr. Obi. Obi, right? Um, he is. Probably the the ghosts of Christmas. All three of them mixed All together. All three of them. Was the past, present, and future? Yes. You know he's got some good good advice for everybody. And Sean Carr. I'm I'm gonna drop Jack Skellington on this. Uh, okay. Nightmare Before Christmas. So it's only because you did a Twilight Zone cover. For yeah. No, that's from it. Binghamton, and then this is how you're <laughs> fucking trying to fucking it, loosely connect shit together. Oh, okay, Mister Segway. Hey, at least I'm not trying to fucking connect. That's Twilight not even a stretch. And... Jack Skellington is one of the greatest characters in history. So, yeah. And then we got Mr. Owen Travers would have been our next episode. The man of a million gimmicks. So how about the, uh, he's all three wise men. He's, he's got all three, he's got three different gimmicks rolling at once. I don't know what all, all three of those gimmicks are, but. Yeah, whatever. They Frankincense, were myrrh, and gold. A little gold. You can bring the gold that's... this way. Yeah, we up with some gold, bro. Yeah, maybe out there got gold. Remember, send your gift cards to Dig Justice. Send your gold to us. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Nick Ando. Oh, shitter's full. Shitter's full. Shitter's full. <laughs> cousin Eddie. Cuddy has. Uh, Cuddy has. <laughs> Cuddy has. A cousin Eddie. <laughs> National Lampoon's Christmas, Christmas vacation. Fucking all because he <laughs> loves fucking. Eastbound and Down and fucking Danny McBride and and is the character for me is Bound and Down. I, I mean, cousin Eddie and him go pretty hand in hand. It's perfect. And who we got next? Uh, Pat Sawyer. Chewbacca, dude. Chewbacca from, from a very star. What is it? It's a very Wookiee Christmas. A very Wookiee. Christmas. <laughs> that is the same call he makes for the ladies. <laughs> no, that's. Woo! 
Wow. <laughs> My cat even walked away. One rolls down, one rolls All up. Right. So after Pat, we had his tag team partner, which you can also see these two at Excite Wrestling when they present Fight Club Shameless this plug. Saturday. And that that's is, Mr. Ray Ross. That is Mr. Ray Ross. You made me lose my point. And he would be the Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Only because during our episode with him, he says he wants to be the meanest son of a bitch, which the Grinch pretty much is at the beginning of the movie. He's but the Grinch. He also, His arm is three sizes too small. He also states that at the same time, he wants to be the nicest guy ever. So yeah, by the end of the movie, I'm pretty sure that's how he you can saves. He ruins Christmas and the, just so he can save it. He's so egotistical. Perfect. The Grinch, not Ray Ross. All right, and then we had Moose, Johnny the Moose, Johnny Moose he, man. Well, based on the episode we had with him, him rescuing us. What did he do? Something killed some terrorist the last time he was on the I show. Killed, he's just always I don't killing terrorists. Terrorist. From from what I know, all he does is just kill terrorists all yeah. day long. When we say terrorists, we say in quotations. If by kill we mean like. Hug. Talk about them. But he would be <laughs> from the greatest Christmas movie of all time, Die Hard, John McClane. Mr. John McClane. Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> all right. And then we got Rob Cook. He would be our bad Santa. Oh, for sure. And, and not because, you know, he's a bad guy or anything, but because, you know, everybody loves... Billy Bob Thornton as Bad Santa. He's, a, he's our it's favorite. A great character. He's role. our favorite Santa. But he's a little unconventional. You know, every never Couldn't come loved. up with a baseball Christmas movie. Everybody loves <laughs> Rob Cook, and he's a little unconventional. So there, unlike Bats, is, you know, how he brings things together. That's how you fucking connect the dots, Bats. That's how you do it. Sure, man. So uh, we got another promoter up here. Uh, we got uh, David, David Fuller, Fuller from IHWE. Uh, he's going to be, I think, give him, you know, the Griswold. Clark Griswold. Clark Griswold. He's a family man. He's a family man. He's a family there you man. Go. He's all about family wrestling, family-oriented fun. Good time for everybody down at IHWE. Him and Nick Ando probably would have a love-hate relationship, just like, you know, Clark and Cousin Eddie. Hey, what about uh, Dewan O'Neill? Uh, Frosty the Snowman. Why is that? Because he's a frosty motherfucker. Is there anything else you'd like to say about that? Nope. I just want to pass on to the next guest. Who's the next guest? Shayla Hyde. All right. That should be Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou. Who? Cindy Lou. Who? Well, it was really hard to come up with a good female. Christmas time. And we needed somebody to obviously save Christmas. So fly with the witch. And then we got Brute Van Slyke. Uh, old Man Marley from uh, Home Alone. Yeah, I can see him going back to the episode, him talking about... He's the about... hometown legend. Well, yeah, like a hometown... Uh... But also, he's the guy kind of handled business when it needed to be handled, about respect, you know, saved saved the day. Saved Kevin McAllister. Right, he would, he, you know, tall, mysterious, bearded man. Yeah. All right, then we got uh, Jesse from... Promoter from a Southern... Oh, that's... The promoter from Southern Underground Pro. Yeah, obviously Kevin McAllister. Bring Home Alone all together. Yeah. And then we got Barrington Hughes. Uh, Scott Calvin, the the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, see, he's got out on Netflix now there. recently. Oh wow! For every year, you want to talk th- about shameless plugs? No, but dude, for every year up to this year, like you had to wait till after Christmas to stream it, or you had to rent the DVD through Netflix. But this year, it's out before Christmas. Wow! It's, it's a, like the it's best a Christmas, real one of Christmas miracle. Top three Christmas movies. Wow. That is a Christmas miracle. Uh, Lots then, of Christmas miracles this year. Yay. All right, then we, we got Irvin Legend. Hmm. Ooh, oh, he's the Byron. He, uh, Byron. Yes, there we go. Sinbad. Sinbad. He is the Sinbad. And then look, we had just recently on the Phoenix Kid. He's going to be the Nutcracker. And you want to know why? Because he fucking busted my goddamn fucking balls about them goddamn fucking segues last I was going to say, like, the the mask is, you know, and the Nutcracker face. Those are, like, mask-type looking things. But, yeah, he... he Fucking busted your balls all episode because you fucking suck at sideways. What do you want to do? That's well, that's let's... hurtful on Christmas, dude. So we'll finish up here with our last guest so we can go our separate ways. And that <laughs> was our Christmas, guest today. Man. Merry Christmas. <laughs> our guest today, Dick Justice. And we, we kind of put this together before oh, we started this. Is, this yeah. He is Lethal Weapon. He is the Lethal Weapon. He is the he Lethal is Weapon. Riggs and Murtaugh. Combined. Combined. All movies in melded one. Melded together. Fused. But stacked under the first one because that's almost it's that's kind the structure, of a that's Christmas the movie as, a, as well. But, yo, he, he is the Lethal Weapon. And that's all we're going to say about that. All right, guys. That does it. This is it. That's the gimmick table. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy Thank you for listening. All we'll your see friends and family. you next year. Be safe, people. See ya.